Now we all know that I spend quite a lot of time in the gym. The gym is my home away from home. The only thing that my gym is missing is my dog Navy and food. Two very important things. Now over this time and many years spent at the gym, I have come up to know many tips and tricks and hacks that help me feel more prepared for my workouts and more comfortable in the gym. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Sometimes when you're in the gym, exercises can get very awkward and uncomfortable. Now in the beginning, it's gonna feel awkward and uncomfortable, but then you'll be going to the gym for a few years and you're just like, Whoosh whatever. But if you're in that awkward, uncomfortable stage, have no fear. If your butt's up in the air, I got you covered. We're going to cover your butt with a sweatshirt. This tip is especially helpful on leg day when your butt is up in the air because you're doing deadlifts, squats, RDLs. If you feel any sort of uncomfortable, take a sweatshirt with you to the gym, wrap it around your waist, tie it up, and you're covered. This tip is one of my favorite and it reflects all the time in my workouts. Structure your workouts so you're not running around the gym back and forth fighting people for equipment. If you have a lot of dumbbell work, hit all that dumbbell work first before moving on to the cables or the Smith machine or wherever your workout calls for. is it gonna help keep your head in the game, you're gonna stay more focused, and you're not gonna be getting in fights in the gym with other people when you want the cable machine and a guy's using it, and then you wanna go back to your squat rack, but it's already taken. And then you're stuck doing nothing. Nothing is worse than getting all the way to the gym. You got ready for the gym, you got in the car, you drove all the way to the gym, now you're inside the gym and you look at yourself in the mirror and you realize you got deodorant stains on your shirt. It's embarrassing, especially if you got a black top on. <laughs> they just really pop. Something that has saved me is by bringing baby wipes with me to the gym. So when I show up to the gym and I got deodorant stains, I whip out a baby wipe, wipe my shirt with it, Boo! Pew! they're gone. Take some baby wipes with you, always keep them in your gym bag if it ever happens, which it happens to me a lot more than I wish it did. I've told you several times, I'll tell you again, stretching is so, so, so dang important. But stretching in a gym can be awkward to say the least. Something I still do every single day is putting my butt against the wall when I'm stretching. If I'm stretching, you'll find me in the corner of a gym. The only thing seeing my butt is the wall. It's getting a really great view. When I first started out, I remember thinking that everybody was looking at me. Nobody's looking, they're all mine and their own business, but you're still gonna feel that way. So this tip has always helped me feel more comfortable. If they are looking at me, they're not seeing anything but the back of my head, cause my butt's to the wall. Now there are a few things worse than forgetting a hair tie and having to wear your hair down at the gym. It's gross and it's annoying and it makes it even hotter because your hair is all over your body. Something that has saved me so many times and I am so grateful for it. Don't make fun of my poof, okay? If I don't have the poof, I lose my keys. I will always and forever carry a hair tie on my keychain. Cause you know what? You're never gonna forget your keys, you won't. If you drive to the gym, you're always gonna have your keys and you'll always have a hair tie if you keep it right here on your keychain. You've already made it all the way to the gym. You don't have time to drive home because you won't make it back because you forgot a hair tie. And the front desks at the gym, heaven forbid they carry hair ties, all they got are rubber bands. And rubber bands hurt your hair. Keep a hair tie on your keychain. You always have your keys, you always have a hair tie. You'll never have to worry about it again if you forgot one. Added bonus, I like to put this around my wrist if I have to carry groceries inside. It just stays there. Double whammy. Double whammy. Now we're 
past year, I've invested in my accessory equipment. I think it's very important that you invest in your own if it is something you will use. A barbell pad, I need this, and a lot of gyms don't even have them. If you are a resistance band user, we all know I am. Just invest in your own. They stay clean. You keep them to yourself. They're not touching a ton of people's parts that you don't know have been touched. I made a whole video about everything that I carry in my gym bag. I will also link all of those goodies below. But this hack has come in handy more than once. Several times. Every single day. Still cold? Still cold. Nothing makes for a better workout than beautiful, wonderful gym music. It gets me in the right mind state, I stay focused, I stay to myself. People try to talk to me, they can't talk to me, I got my headphones in. These are my headphones right here, they are the world's best headphones in the whole freaking world. Don't try to tell me they're not, because they are. I can't even hear myself talking right now, that's how soundproof they are. Wireless headphones are the bomb.com, but what happens when I forget them? Or what happens when the battery dies because I forgot to charge them? Well, this tip is to always have an extra set of headphones in your bag with you. Always, always have these with you. They might be knotted, you might have to sit there for a minute and untangle them, but once you get them untangled, you're gonna keep your head in the game. Your workout's gonna be insane. A workout without music is no workout for me. So I always have these bad boys in my gym in case something happens to my wireless one. Now those are all of my tips, tricks, and hacks that have helped me over the past few years feel more comfortable in the gym, be more prepared for my workouts, keep my head in the game the minute I enter the gymnasium. Leave any other tips and tricks that have helped you and then we can all come together and help one another feel our best in the gym. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you next time. Navy, do you want to say goodbye? I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.